What's up guys, Bo here with Going Gear. We're at SHOT Show 2022, obviously, and we're at, personally, my favorite spot, Benchmade, and we have so many new things. I, I think I have probably seven Benchmade knives that I That's just what rotate we like to through. Hear. Every, every day of the week, I have a new one. Oh, nice. And I saw that you guys, last year you were doing different variants of different things. This year, these are new knives. New platforms coming out this year. We've thrown some curveballs in there for you too, little things you probably wouldn't expect from us. But, uh, and then we've also just elevated a few pre-existing platforms. We do it well. So if you wanna hop right into it. Yeah, let's hop right in. You can man. just go straight down the rows. I'm gonna start over here, of course. The gold gotta class. Gotta start with the gold class. Um, I'm a big 940 fan myself. The mini 940 was awesome. I was stoked to see that. And to see it elevated into the gold class is just awesome for me. Fat carbon fiber for those yep. handle scales. A nice blue anodized bolster. We're doing a gear pattern damascus steel on great. that. It's pretty. Um, and and guys, then, this is not as small as it looks in my hand. You guys know I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm giant, so this is a normal size knife. Like this is great, man. This has a great feel to it. It's rad. My favorite part that floating back spacer on the spine there. It's right in between yep. like a barrel spacer and a back spacer. Best of both worlds. Daniel, get a close up on that right there. Look at the back. How sick is that? Awesome. So stoked on that one. We'll go right down to that mini bug out. Yeah, right there. So last year, this is again, just kind of a, a variant of one that we did last year. We did the full size carbon fiber, kind of the premium end of the bug out. Carbon fiber handle scales, S90V blade steel. We just hit it with the shrink ray. So you got the mini version of it now. Awesome. I'm super stoked about this. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah. Um, and then here's, here's our curve ball for you. This one's cool though. This, th when I was out here with Daniel, we were like, whoa, what is this? this yeah. Is not something you normally expect from us, but we're bringing back a slip joint. It's been a while since we've done a slip joint. And this one has two blades on it. A uh, longer blade here with a shorter blade as well. I call the shorter one the sacrificial blade. That's what you do, all the stuff you don't want to do with yep. a knife. <laughs> Keep this one looking nice and pretty. And then, uh, you know, people ask for a bottle opener. We figure this is a good platform to put it on. So you if you got to crack open a cold one with the boys, it's yep. right here for you. Perfect. This is the Weekender. Just great for those people that love to get outdoors on the weekend real quick. Is this a micarta handle here? Micarta handle, we're doing two different variants. So the micarta handle with the orange anodized pivot rings. Awesome. And then on this one, we've got the cool gray G10 with just kind of like a bronze anno on the pivot rings as well. Looks great, man. Love it. It's awesome. And then from there, if you want to grab that fixed blade yeah. at the bottom. This is a bow size knife right here. I, this guy feels good. I am stoked on that one. That is the 539GY Anonymous. And this one is kind of our, if you know the Bushcrafter. Yes. Big, chunky Bushcrafter knife. Great for what it's needed to do. Uh, but the this is more of your survivalist one. Great. Um, beauty of it is that we went crew wear on the blade steel, which lets us cut down on the stock and it keeps it lighter weight. So it does kind of have a thinner profile, but it still fills out the hand really well. Right. Um, an elongated choil serves as also a guard for when you are really hammering on that thing, making sure your hand's not gonna slip down. Yeah, that's firm right there too. And man. then we machined out right in front of that choil, that little half moon you see. Yep. We machined that out to get a nice 90 degree edge, fits a ferro rod perfectly, so wow. that you can strike that right there. No more doing that on the spine of your blade with this one, you still probably could but uh, we've got a dedicated spot for it. And the sheath has a ferro rod holder for it as well, awesome. like the Bushcrafter. I, I will say, the sheaths you guys make, they, they feel so good. Yeah. It just like slips in perfectly. It has that nice action coming out. That one has a nice click to it yeah, too, exactly. once you get it in. It, yep. it, I like it a lot. Awesome. All right, thank you. <laughs> Moving on, so that was our uh, blue line with one gold in there as well. We're gonna move on to the hunt line. And this one right here, in case you didn't realize, we're kind of going all out with the bug out family. Uh, I guess all out would be a good catchphrase for kind of what we're yeah. doing. But this is the oh, 15 535 tagged out. We noticed a lot of hunters are carrying bug outs in their packs. We figured, you know, why not give hunters a bug out of their own? This is so light. Super light. It's just like wow. a bug out. It's got the grivery handle scales, barrel spacers, just like the bug out. But we went with like a clip point blade and it has a, like, a, thump, like a nail hole instead of a thumb stud. Uh, so that one just low drag, lightweight, just like a bug out, great for carrying out in the field. That's a very light knife, I will say that. If you ever wondered what a Crooked River blade on yeah. a bug out is like, that's it right there. Um, then we've got the 15700 Flyway. Uh, a lot of people asking for a bird knife from us. This is your kind of, it's almost like a scalpel a little bit, it looks like it 
but it's got great G10 handles with a CPM 154 blade. Uh, great for breasting out birds, everything like that. Uh, it knows what it does and it does it well. Right. All right, we've got the 15600 OR Raghorn. This is kind of your premium hunt fix blade, really, for your Western hunter. Uh, great for doing large game and everything like that. Carbon fiber, crew wear again to keep that blade stock thin. Lightweight. This is a knife that you can really beat on. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to be great. I love the colorway you guys actually chose because sometimes you see different brands doing the orange thing and you're yeah. just like, it looks cringy or like cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> this, it, it looks really nice and that is so light too. I like it because it's high vis when it's out of the sheath exactly. and then once it's in the sheath, it's kind of blended in a bit more, right. but you can still get a good eye on it. Exactly, it Same looks great. thing going on with the Meat Crafter here. We're kind of bringing out the whole value scale of the Meat Crafter. We did the Meat Eater, then the intro version. Now we've got this one, the 15500OR-2. Same orange Cerakote, carbon fiber handle scales. S45VN blade, bringing that blade steel back. Really excited about that. And then we did another same blade steel S45VN, but with an olive drab G10 handle scale as well. Gonna be great for those push cuts. Yep. No brisket stands a chance is what I like to say. I was about to say, it yeah. definitely doesn't look like it. I'm pretty excited about these guys right here. It's weird, I'm a, I'm a big guy, but I love little knives for some reason. Yeah. There's something about holding it like in your hand. And, and I just saw these guys when we walked up and I was like, I cannot wait to talk about these. So tell me about these. This is the immunity family. Uh, it's three different mechanisms and blade styles, so kind of three variants, and then each one will come in these colors. So it's basically nine new models. Wow. What you just picked up right there is going to be the partial immunity. So that's got a shorter blade than the rest. It's a sub two inch automatic blade right there. Snappy <sighs> little auto action. That is on awesome. It. Again, coming that. in three different colors, and it comes with a lanyard with a PVD bead that's going to match it as well. I haven't seen, have you guys done that before? The Like a bead? Yeah. We haven't done that. I don't believe so. No, no pendant yeah. or anything like that. No, that this that's is kind awesome. of our foray into that. That's great. So going from the partial immunity then into the uh, full immunity, which is a two and a half inch blade on it. So a little bit longer, but still a shorter blade. This one's a manual uh, thumb stud kind of gives that away. Yeah. But uh, same handle across all these platforms. So you still get the same purchase on it. Just different blades. Right. All of them are M4 as well, which is just like the cherry on top for me. That is awesome. And then moving from there then, so we had the partial immunity, the full immunity, and we'll move into the auto immunity. This one here, full length blade, just like that one there, but with that automatic action that the partial immunity had, I like to say if you get all three of these, then you've got yourself the herd immunity. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. And it's like, they have a good feel to them too. It's not like a light knife that you're just gonna accidentally drop or, like these are very solid made knives. This is a great job. On Aluminum handle scales, full liners on it as well. Like it, it's a small knife, but yeah. uh, you can really beat it up. M4 Definitely. blade kind of lets you know. I love it, man. Perfect. And last but not least. Oh man. All right. And then right here, the one I'm most excited about. Me. We've got right here, the 5370 FE shootout, which is our first pin handle plastic injection molded. It's a CF Elite, so just like your uh, glass-filled nylon, substitute some of the glass for carbon fiber to reduce weight, increase strength and rigidity. Right. This thing's lightweight, it's snappy. I gotta try this out. I got, oh my gosh, yeah. that is so light. It's got this like, is like a, bug out light. Exactly, the shootout, we're kind of taking this bug out into all the different platforms wow. and I'm stoked on it. It's kind of like the automatic bailout. It's got a very solid action too. Yeah, I, uh, the best part about it, Lowest cost out OTF that we've ever done with an MSRP of three hundred dollars. Wow! All right, I'll take five of these. Yeah, <laughs> John, uh, no, just get. We'll set up a trade. <laughs> we'll set. Look at this. Wow, love it. And it's like some OTFs, you know, they're like, they're very like hard to push almost. You're like, Ugh. this one's just like boom. You're right there. It's great Super with a light. naked hand. Good with a gloved hand as well. Yep. Uh, it could everyday carry really nicely. That's great. And then. Right here, we've got the 430BK readout. Again, bringing that lightweight, light, lightweight, low drag, high speed into the black class. We just wanted to make an essential folder for the black class. Yeah. Just something that's good entry level, lower price point, CPM D2 blade with grivery handle scales on it. Very similar to the Griptilian, but kind of the black class version of it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys, we just ran through all of the new knives at Benchmade. You guys have done an amazing job. You're going to see all these at Going Gear as well. So uh, we're excited to see what you guys are doing. I can't imagine how you make this even better in the future, but you guys always do it. So We find a way somehow. I appreciate awesome. you stopping Thanks, by, Nate. man. Thanks a ton. Enjoy all the rest right. of the show. Thanks.